Hey everyone, Dead Old Nerve Guy here. I've received a half dart inline kit for the Nerf Rival Knockout from Transformworks. So let's install it. Welcome, Stag. So, this is the small inline clip conversion kit from Friends Foamworks that Joshua sent me when I bought the pair of uh, Aero Blaster from him. I didn't ask for it, but he sent it to me. Very, very kind of you. Thank you very much. So, I took my personal Chronos, the one that had the handguard from uh, AK Blaster mod. It got no spring upgrade. I left the some extension on it because I like them and now we're gonna open it so inside this knockout uh, basically I had to open it all the way uh, there is a section I don't remember why it doesn't want to come off I think it's because the lock is clipped in there so the safety is preventing us from separating only the red part but that is okay as all I need is this barrel here. This little kit is basically, I will say two, but it's a three piece kit because the brass ring was already installed when I received it. So it would be a three piece kit. The front, the inner barrel with three round clip and the little brass ring. So technically, I should just have to slap that in there. Is it the right way? Yes, it is. There's a little loose. It's not completely all the way down like I would like. So I think I might have to remove it from there and reinstall it with, I don't know, maybe a piece of tape to stabilize it inside the barrel so it's not that loose. Okay, so I got tape pretty much all around it. Can it just go in? Yeah, and even there. Even there. Okay, so let me put it a final ring at the end so it might lock into place. Let's Okay, so now it's in a little more tightly. Now let's press on this one so this one can go in. Yeah, that's better. Not perfect, it's moving a bit, but yeah, that looks like it. Is there a last notch I can? Is there a last notch I can push in there? I don't think so. I really think it's all the way down. So now, let's put that thing back together. Now that it's assembled, let's do a quick chrono just to see if this thing can shoot. Then we'll do a real chrono test and a fire test on this little kit from France Foamworks. This thing look pretty cool, I have to say. I would have to cut out this part here, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Let's open it. I haven't uh, elongated the breech size or anything. Because I wanted to try it like that. Hmm. I didn't remove the little peg restrictor and I should have. 
and I broke a dart. Putting it in. 94. Not a slouch. Ninety five, one oh one. Okay, let's try and slap more dart into that thing. I'm gonna open this mouth a little more. It's not easy to to reload it. I would really need to remove that restrictor out of the way. It's my entire fault. I didn't remove it. Okay, so I would definitely need to remove that restrictor. This thing is causing me problem, but this thing shoots uh, 9500 ish for now. I am sure it's capable of more, but that's good. That is good. I haven't removed that thing. I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna remove it right now. I'm just gonna pry it off with some pliers. With that little tooth removed, it's a little bit easier to reload it. But yeah, I would still need to open some kind of a larger breach for the dart. It's kind of tricky. You kind of need to curve your dart in. But once it's done, Ish blaster. Chronograph test for this Nerf Rival Knockout Inline Clip Half Dart Conversion Kit from Friends Foamwork. This thing is pretty neat. I mean, in the fire test, the dart seems swerving a bit. Ah, yeah, that was my impression. A little sub 100. Might have to work on that seal a bit. But yeah, this thing is useful, quite precise, even if the dart fishtail a bit, due probably to the lack of long barrel. There's only like a brass of ring showing them, but this thing, super fun. And I received it right on the lips. <sighs> thing is okay to reload as easy as it is to put a dart in the knockout for a breach. Yeah, 
Soldering around 96, 97, I had a little uh, better result with other tests. Let me put some bamboo in it to see if there's any difference. I mostly put uh, Adventure Force in it. Let me put some bamboo dart in it. Yeah, pretty much the same. We put uh, three max art just to see if there's a difference. I I realize that max art are really good in my copper inline clip. Let's check with this one. Yeah, it stays around the same all the time. So okay, it's about a hundred easily upgradable with a better spring but keep in mind you are losing some air in the inline clip therefore you cannot achieve immense power with only this small ring of brass wow this thing is superb well in the end this little kit from transform works is pretty awesome i mean the blaster is quite inexpensive it's a ten dollar fifteen dollar knockout you basically just put the kit which is very easy if you never modded uh, this blaster can seem intimidating because of the many part inside of it but that said uh, you really just open the shell and work with the barrel in front of it and little tape if you want to be able to remove it or a little glue if you want to make sure it's permanent and stay in place uh, no, really, this is a fun thing. If you've never ever modded, uh, think of this one a knockout and this kit. It might be your first successful mod and really fun too. You will go from a one round multiple step for loading one rival round inside and shooting it to eh, a couple of steps to put the tree dart in, like basically you open it. You take your dart. Yeah, they're about as easy to put as in any knockout. That means, eh, okay, because the mouth is not very big. But you put your dart in. And once it's closed, you got three rounds. I mean, this is very, very fun, very effective. Oh, good job, friends, homeworks for this kit. Thank you, Joshua, for sending it to me. I mean, I didn't ask for it. And this is really a fun thing. Quite precise, we saw it on the fire test. The dart is a little fishtailing uh, when coming out, but uh, all in all, this is an awesome kit. Not that expensive, and the blaster is not expensive either. So think about it. Friends from work, inline conversion kit. This was awesome. That's it for this small video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerd guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to so notify for my latest video. This was Dave for Tag. See you next time. Bye.